Hello, oil based Chris here in my kitchen on the kitchen counter to uh, show off a new addition to the family, the MT32 Pi. As you can see here, connected to the Mister. Uh, just to get into detail about the MT32 Pi, it is a software emulator of the Roland MT32 MIDI uh, system and it has a sound canvas capability as well. What's that good for? Well, if you have cores that support it, such as the AO486 core, the Amiga core and the Atari ST core and a few others, you can run MIDI software and this will handle all the MIDI for you. And it sends the information back and forth using this uh, I.O. port here, which does look like a USB 3 port, but isn't. So on the mister, you will see we have a matching I.O. port and you really literally just bring the two things together. And if your power supply that you're powering the mister with is good enough, it will also power this. So it literally acts just like a peripheral. Uh, the mister, sorry, the MT32 Pi itself has an OLED screen on it, uh, two buttons, and it literally sits on top of a Raspberry Pi SBC. So it slots onto any supported Raspberry Pi. It supports the B upwards, and uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Uh, the, three, the 3A is the preferred one because that only looks like this then. You don't have the external ports here. So yeah, lovely, lovely little thing. And uh, I'd like to show you a bit more about it now. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook this into my system and we're going to show you how it works on an actual mister itself running some MIDI stuff. My cupboard under the stairs in front of my mister itself, we have the M232, uh, NT32 Pi all set up. Ready to go. Let's fire up a core that supports it. And for this one, we're going to be using the PC core. We get the lovely little Mr. logo. And if I bring up the menu, we should see an MT32 Pi set up there. Now, I'm turning it off for now because I want to show you the difference in sound quality. So we're going to open up Day of the Tentacle. And what this will be using when it fires up will be the Mr.'s built in MT32 emulation. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area okay, behind those terrible. double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking? So it sounds okay, but I'm going to show you another example. I'm going to open up Monkey Island 2 using the built in. Uh, Mr. Uh, MT32 support in the Mr. Was it 1 1, was it? 1 1 1 1. Skip this. Wait, now I want you to listen very carefully. Listen very carefully to the tempo. So there wasn't it, it sounded quite good, I think you'll agree, but the ARM chip in the mister hasn't quite got enough processing power to keep the tempo in time. So now we're going to turn on the MT32 by Pi. 
which is just integrated into it, same exact thing. And you should start seeing a little something happening on the screen there as well. Again, pay close attention to the tempo. I'm using, um, by the way, I'm using uh, Flynnbit's excellent top 300 um, <laughs> Exodus pack. You've got to, if, you, if you're interested in PC gaming at all, it's definitely worth checking it out. He's done some amazing work. So, as an example, let's uh, do the version without any MIDI at all. And see what you think of the sound quality here. And this is why people are so excited about this project. Well, this is probably how you heard Monkey Island 2, unless you owned some of this exotic hardware. Okay, uh, what I'll also point out is it's, it's very clever this because the audio is being sent to the, the MIDI signal is, well sorry, the, the control signals are being sent from the MISTER to the MT32Pi through the cable and also the audio is being sent back and then remixed back into the HDMI so it's really just acts like um, an external sound card, it's really clever. I'm now going to show you the sound canvas capabilities. So it's now switching over to sound font. Open up Doom. Okay, not the best example. I mean, but let's do a regular Doom. Actually, we'll do the, the uh, Sound Blaster versus Sound Canvas comparison again. Uh, you see the mist has gone into the, the MT32 pipeline line to power saving mode there. So the screen blanks. It's still on, but it'll only come to life when you send it a signal. So let's listen to episode one. Really wrong with that. Well, let's try that again, but this time we'll use the sound canvas. You see, it's now come to life. It's not already active because uh, this particular pack, <laughs> this pack um, automatically swaps between MT32 and sound font depending on what you're playing. This very gets good. And you're not just limited to the sound fonts that are built in. So 
let's load up a different sound font. So you can customize your experience. This is quite a big sound font, so it takes a little while to load in. Yeah, you shouldn't really uh, change sound fonts when it came running. Again, different sound again. Let's do another MT32 game. I think the OLED screen is my favourite thing. Absolutely brilliant. I've accidentally reloaded it. Hang on. <laughs> Give it a reboot, make it come back to life. So, there we go again. And of course, the little logo, which is always cool. Yeah, so there's plenty of um, stuff on here. Oh, that's open up Indiana Jones Fate of Atlantis. There's another MT32 game. Descent. This time with sound canvas. Whoops, wrong mode, I think. There we go. So yeah, 
the MT32 Pi. Um, you've got to be interested in MIDI for this to interest you, but I can assure you it, it's well worth it as well. It's fairly inexpensive. If you already own an I.O. board um, for your mister, then this is just a plug and play solution, really. Uh, all you need is a USB 3 cable, to USB 3 male to male cable, and the mister itself and a Raspberry Pi. And anyone who's interested in emulation probably has a couple of Raspberry Pis lying around at this point. So yeah, I mean, this was just a spare Raspberry Pi 3B I had lying around. If you wanted to get into this, um, prices haven't been set in stone for this as of yet, although I would expect it to be sub £30. I paid a little bit less than that. I'm not going to say exactly how much, just in case I got a very, very good deal and uh, I make other people look like they're ripping you off, which they're not, because um, it's fairly inexpensive. The plans are on the internet if you want to basically... Uh, the plans are on the internet if you want to make your own, essentially. And uh, it's just, it's really, really cool. I'm currently having power issues with my browser, with my setup, my uh, PSU. As you can see, when I bumped it there at reset, my PSU isn't powerful enough to actually supply power to the Mr. Uh, the, the MT32 Pi on its own. So I'm having to power it externally, which causes issues. It shouldn't really cause any major issues, but it's causing me issues at the moment because the, both power supplies I'm using aren't enough, really. But yeah, if you've got a nice beefy power supply, you've got an I.O. shield, this is a really cheap way of getting a really good MIDI sound. So, yeah, I think we're going to call it a day there. Uh, I've been All Your Bass Chris. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a look into it, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.